We are so grateful that you joined us during our season of prayer here at Holy Trinity. We continue during the next month to lay a foundation for the next 100 years. This is the season of Advent, and so we also want to remind you of this theme of hopefulness, the hope that we have in Jesus Christ. And so let us begin our time of prayer this evening by lighting our very first Advent candle. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Also with you. today acknowledging that there are things that would distract us from this time of prayer tonight but we do need to dedicate to our, ourselves to that work of prayer so we confess whatever those things might be distractions of this day maybe arguments with our spouse maybe or our children maybe a frustrations at work where things just did not go as we had anticipated or maybe we're looking for jobs or maybe we're looking for 
housing and just all these things, God, are just, are just weighing on our mind. Concerns about Christmas or maybe being with family members or maybe uh, broken relationships that occurred over this last weekend's Thanksgiving weekend. I just don't know what's on our minds, God. But I know that these things take us away from the work that we need to dedicate ourselves to. So we lift them up to you just a moment. And we offer them to you, knowing that you'll hear these concerns. Receive them this evening, God, so we might dedicate ourselves fully and wholly to this time of prayer. We pray, God, for our church, your church, really. But we have an ownership of it. We love not just this place, this location, not this building. We love the people because that is your church. The most amazing thing happened this last week in church where a woman who's been coming on and off and she came and just says, I love this church because people recognize who I am and know me by name. That's church. And so I thank you for those here in this place who recognize each other by name because that's who you call us. You don't just say, hey, you. So you recognize this church by its people. And we know that you adore us and love us more than we can each other. And we believe that you have a future plan for us. And so just like we are in the season of Advent, we're hopeful. We don't see the vision yet. But we trust that it's there. So we pray that you would guide and direct the leadership of this congregation, our President Paul and Vice President Dee. We pray that you would be with our board. We'll be shaking up the board here again in the next couple of weeks, a brand new election, adding two new people to the board, saying goodbye to two others for another year. That's just the way the season goes. We cycle folks in and uh, new folks in and say goodbye to those whom we love very dearly for a time. But that's so that this leadership stays fresh. And I'm just trusting that we will maybe bring into leadership in this council, our board, people who maybe aren't even aware of it yet, but they might be that last piece of puzzle that we need to provide guidance and wisdom for our future. So provide for that, God, that election that takes place on December the 11th. We pray that you would also bless me. I'm asking for your blessing, and I'm asking for people to continue to pray for me. I've outright confessed, God, I don't have a vision clearly about what we should do. i got a lot of things I'm guessing on. I'm just throwing things out, but I'm honestly shooting from my hip. I don't, I don't really have a strong guidance from your, your spirit right now. That's not a bad thing. I think you're just waiting for us to all be on the same page. You're going to catch us all up together. And I'm just waiting. I'm just going to be patient. When the time is right, you will give that to me. And maybe it's not to me, but to whoever it is or whoever people it is in the congregation who pull that vision together. And I'm just praying you help me to recognize it too. We pray that you would bless our congregation, the people here. I'm so grateful that they do love each other, but pray that you would help them be patient and kind and generous to one another and prepare our hearts for the outreach that we are supposed to do. God, we're already, it's not like we've given up doing re outreach. We have did, just done some spectacular things over these last weeks, and I'm thankful for it. This last Thanksgiving, the families that we had the privilege of feeding, the connection we've had to new immigrants to this country. I don't know, maybe that's our new future. I, I just don't know. But I'm grateful for every opportunity. Every opportunity in of itself is a complete unit. We blessed people with food who needed to be blessed with food, and we shared with them Jesus' love. But if there's to be a future with that outreach, well, provide for us. Give us a vision. Continue to bless the people of this congregation in their generosity and also in their sense of their calling 
because I believe that you've given us everything we need to be a blessing in East Pittsburgh. So prepare East Pittsburgh. Mary Carroll, the president of our borough council, our mayor, Mayor Adam, help us to work closely with them as they help us identify the needs of this community. For our partners at New Day and Mana, St. John, Orthodox, we need a closer relationship with all of these congregations because this vision has to be bigger than this tiny little congregation. There's enough work for all of us to do. For Bishop Wilma Kucherik, our Slovak Zion Synod congregations who support us and are on our side, we thank you for their support. Lord, we just commend these things to you this day. If there are other concerns on our hearts that maybe I've missed, you're watching this and you'd say, Oh, Pastor, you forgot this prayer. Okay, type it. Type it in the comments section. May not be, get be, may not be prayed for this week, but I promise you I'll include it in my daily prayer. I'll include it in our Sunday prayer. I will include it next Tuesday on our streaming service. We just take a moment to lift all of these concerns to you. spirit of worship and prayer. Hallelujah, Jesus. Keeper of the stars, Lord of time and space, I will live my life lifting up your
how beautiful you are. We thank you, God, for hearing all the prayers upon our hearts this evening and pray that you would receive them. Inspire us, bless us with your spirit, we ask. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. So may you receive the Lord's blessing this day. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Blessings to you. And once again, we certainly enjoy being present with you. Please let us know that you've been praying tonight. Just like the post or give us a comment or remind us again that you are here supporting and prayer the future in the next hundred years of this congregation. Go, go in peace and serve the Lord.